Hi, welcome back to our channel. This is Teacher Cedric. For today, let us look at another PSLE question. And this time, we have a geometry question on finding angle. So let's see what we can do. Now, before we jump right into this type of questions, it is very important that you know, for this type of geometry questions, it is essential to label the given information as you read through the question. So let us follow that. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Now that tells me we have two pairs of parallel line. Let me label it. So B, A, B and C, D are parallel, and then B, C and A, D are parallel. And then A, C, E is an equilateral group, equilateral triangle, and that tells me two facts. First, all three sides are the same, and on top of that, the angles are all 60 degrees. 60, 60, and 60. So you can see that I intentionally label it outside of the diagram to not confuse ourselves with those angles inside the diagram. And then on top of that, DC and then DE, they are the same. So we actually get an isosceles of the triangle. So let's see how we can, how we can make use of this known information to get the, the questions that we are asking. So let's see, the first part, the angle ACD. So starting with the first part, Part A. Now, to find the angle ACD, again, we have to start with the known information. Now, we have seen that DC equals DE tell me that the triangle DCE is isosceles. There's something special about isosceles triangle that you must remember. is that if you know the top angle, immediately you know the two base angles because they are the same. So what we can do is that I can simply subtract the top angle with 180 and then divide it by 2. So let's do that. And from here, we can actually find out the angle DCE. So the angle DCE is going to be 180 minus 138 divided by 2. And this will give me 21 degree. And then from there, you can see that Labeling the angles really helps because we already know that they should add up to 60. So immediately, angle ACD is simply 60 minus 21, and then we get 39 degree. And again, whenever you find out some new information, make sure you label them in the diagram. So we know over here is 21, and over here is 39. Now, how can I find out part B? the angle CDA, which is over here. Let's see again. Let's see what are some, some of the known information that we, that we have applied. Well, isosceles triangle, we already make use of that. What about equilateral triangle? Equilateral triangle tell me that not only this angle over here is 60, this angle over here is also 60, meaning that what angle is this? That must be 30. So that they add up together to 60 degrees. So we can actually first find out the angle CAD to be 60 minus 30, and that is 30. And from there, it's just uh, applying the simple fact that the sum of interior angles of the, ang of the triangle CAD is 180 to get CDA. So let me do that. C, oops, CDA is simply 180 minus 30 and minus 39 and that will give me 111 degree so that's part b soft now let's move on to the next part now in order to find out the angle eab well where is eab eab is over here so we can see that eab actually consists of three parts the first part that we are not we don't know at this moment and this part that we already know is 30 and then this part, which we also know to be 30. So we just need to figure out the first part, which is what angle? Let me write it down. Which is the angle BAC, okay? So if I know BAC, then problem solved. Now, how can I find out BAC? Okay, let us start with the known information. We have made use of equilateral triangle. We have made use of isosceles triangle. What else do we know about this question? We have a parallelogram. So what are something that we have to look for with parallelogram? 
what are the properties, right? We have to look for like a Z shape for alternating angle, a U shape for interior angles, or it could be an F shape for corresponding angle. And in this case, which one is more useful? The alternating angle, because we can see that B, A, C, D, there is a Z shape. And then what does this Z shape tell me? This tell me B, A, C, equals to the angle ACD. And we already found out ACD to be 39. So this equals 39. Again, this is because of our turning angle. Okay? And then have you found BAC? We have actually solved the problem. So now we simply need to take, so for EAB, we simply need to take the three part, combine them, 39 plus 30 plus 30, and then we will get 99 degree. So that's solve the third part. So for a geometry questions, don't go yet. It is very important that you follow these two methods. First, label the questions as you go. Label the sides as well as the angle that you know. And then second, look for a familiar shape. What do I mean a familiar shape? Like equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and parallelogram. Because those shapes tell us something about the angles. So that's it for today. And our PSLE class is currently enrolling. If you'd like to learn more about PSLE class or our PSLE curriculum preparations in general, make sure you join our study group by scanning this QR code. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. I'm Teacher Cedric, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.